deciding on the length of a stick, a general rule is to stand in skates and measure the stick from the ice to the top of the sternum. Stick length is very important for skating development. With a long stick, a skater will bend at the waist and not the knees. The long stick will help a player stand up but prevents proper knee bend. With a shorter stick, a player bends the knees and has a good ready position. With a shorter stick, a player shooting may suffer, but skating development is more important at this stage. With a stick length measured to the sternum, the beginner develops good knee bend for skating as well as puck feel. With a short stick, the hands are away from the body, which allow the elbows and wrist freedom to execute puck handling skills in all directions. With a stick of proper length, the angle of the blade, or lie, should be flat on the ice when in a ready position. Once the proper stick selection and length are determined, the beginning player must learn how to properly hold and carry the stick. The proper grip requires the top hand to hold the stick firmly in the meat of the hand. A small knob at the top of the stick allows for a proper grip and better puck control. The V of the thumb and the first finger when gripping the stick align with the narrow side of the shaft. This will angle the blade for better puck control. The V alignment is the same for the bottom hand, but the grip is within the fingers. The bottom hand position will vary from close together for puck handling to farther apart for shooting. Beginning players should also be instructed on how to carry the stick when skating. When using one hand, the stick is carried in front of the body. When using two hands, the stick blade should be kept on the ice as the hands and arms assist in the skating motion. This action not only assists the skating stride, it also encourages a ready position and reduces pitch forking. This start, the skater assumes the ready position and creates unstable balance by leaning forward by moving the center of gravity ahead of the base of support. The heels come together to form a V, or starting blocks, on the inside edges for a quick and explosive start. Five or six quick strides, not glides, on the inside edge of the blade enable players to accelerate. Using sticks on the ice will reinforce quick strides to help develop this skill. Every stride is an extension of the hip, knee, and ankle joint in that order. A flex gliding leg has the knee ahead of the foot. This is essential for a powerful thrust on the striding leg. The striding leg rotates outward and downward on the inside edge to a full extension. The ankle is the final joint extension, which creates toe bite, which is critical for strength in the stride. A quick, low recovery by the striding leg to a point of stability under the body completes the stride. The forward stride is best developed through a progression of drills using the T-push. Use a T-push or scooting action with short, hard pushes. When striding backward, it's important to remember that the skater's shoulders are over the heels of the skates, which is unlike the forward stride, which has the shoulders over the toe caps of the skate. Moving the center of gravity outside the body when going forward, backward, or sideways is important for momentum. Using one hand on the stick will assist with maintaining the proper posture in the backward stride. The backward lateral crossover is a natural progression when increased partner resistance is applied. In the forward to backward pivot, the skater glides on one skate, unweights and twists the head and shoulder to transfer the forward momentum into backward skating. In the backward to forward pivot, the skater glides on one skate and twists the head and shoulder in the direction of the turn. A heel-to-heel -heel technique completes the pivot. The transition pivot from forward to backward in an opposite direction is also a skill that can be worked on in this route. The skater initiates the pivot by turning the skates leading with the toes. The skater unweights the heels to complete the pivot and accelerates into backward skating. Momentum assists in enabling the skater to accelerate backward. The learning of skating skills such as starting, striding, and pivots are important components in the right start to skating. With the use of the alley route and progressive teaching,